much uh, to all of my guests. Now, we are talking at a time when election campaign has already begun. In, uh, in fact, today, coincidentally, is the last day for filing nomination for the very first phase of uh, the polling that is to happen. NDA versus INDI. The first question that many of you would ask today, is there any such thing as INDI? We already have India, but the alliance that called itself INDI doesn't even exist anymore. Before we plunge into the daily format of debate, what I want to start by doing is that let's hear our speakers articulate their thoughts on a few questions that we have on our minds every single day, when sometimes in the cacophony we lose the nub of the argument. So let me get started with issue number one, when we are talking about the possibility of char so par. Is this psychological warfare, is this even possible? Char so par in a country where last we saw it about 30 years ago, this happening, can it be made possible again? Let me get started. Char so par, why choose this number? Is this only to browbeat your opponents? One minute will be given to each speaker, and we'll start with MP and national spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Dr. Prakash Sachwe. I just want to say, being a student of engineering, we used to plot a curve. BJP was formed in 1980. First election, 84, two seats. Next election, 86 seats. Prominent party. Next election, 91, principal opposition party, 120. Next election, single largest party, 96. Next election, Largest party leading the coalition, but in 98, thoda coalition mein majority se kam 99 leading the coalition with a clear majority. Then a dip, again we formed the government. Kisi ko lagta tha, 272 par ho jayega 2014 mein. Hua. Then we said in 2019, 300 par. Lagta tha kisi ko. Hua. Ab is bar kaha hai, 400 par, to hoga. Kyunki Modi hai, to mumkin hai. And one more thing I would like to say. It's not just for the sake of election. As Modi ji has said, people used to keep on thinking of 2024-29, we are thinking of 2047. To take India to biggest economy and at the top of the world and our legitimate due which is there, I want to quote one sentence. Uh, I used to see Discovery Channel. There was a program which used to come in which say India was the biggest and richest country of the world, the place at it will remain most of the time in the history. So the time is awaiting to reach us there. So this 400 par is now small, we will tell you what we will tell you in our hearts. 